Corvette, Corvette. Hop in a motherfucking jet like jet. Them in the dead, them in the dead like that. They were like, pop, why you all like that? Why you talk like that? Why you all like that? Okay, so starting off, you want to make sure your base layer is a nice dark shade of blue. Something like a bit of an oceany colour. Then on a new layer, you want to draw a bit of a round blobby shape, like you can see what I've drawn. And fill in the outer space with a lighter shade. Just repeat this step multiple times until you think you're at the end. Make sure that your shades get slightly lighter each time and the final layer should be done in white. I'll make sure to add all the shade value numbers below in the description so you can see the exact colours that I've used. Now you've done that, you want to go into your layers panel and duplicate all the layers, turn them all off apart from the second to bottom layer and turn that black. Then turn that layer off and do the same with every other layer going up. If you've done this right, the top layer should be left white and when all the layers are back on you should have no black layers visible. Now it's time to add some details. Make sure that you're using the right colour to match each layer that you're on and start to add any sort of flowers, leaves, any seaweed that you can think of. And if you aren't sure what to add, you can either Google different ones or just copy from mine. I'm going to leave this all in. I don't really need to talk through it because you're just adding little things. And I'll speed it all up so you can just watch and see what I've done.
Once I finished adding in any floral details, I then went back in onto different layers and added some pale blue or white bubbles around the edges. From here you want to open up a new layer and this is where you can add your little sea creature. I created a stamp and just went for a seahorse. If you want to see a step by step video on how to create your own brush stamp of anything you actually want to add, you can drop a comment and just let me know. It's very simple and I can do that one quite easily for you. As you can see I'm just duplicating this layer just to make sure the opacity is at the fullest level and then grouping them all together. Then you want to duplicate that layer again and colour the seahorse in black underneath. And for the final steps you want to go to the bottom black layer and go to the adjustments drop down bar in the top left of the screen and click on Gaussian Blur. There's no specifics for this one, you can just blur it however you like. Um, as you can see from what I've done, each layer is around the same sort of numbers but they're all different. Each one will look different and how much you want to add the effect or the depth to each layer because obviously the colours are different so once you're done with that that's your image done please don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell and thanks for watching